When it comes to moving large files from your computer over to your PlayStation 3, FTP is the way to go. I'll help you build a bridge from your PlayStation 3 to your PC so that you can copy over the content that you love most. Fire up your PlayStation 3 and your computer because you're about to learn something new. A quick note here as we get started, you'll need a jailbroken PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 3 running PS3 Hen for this to work. There are two key downloads you'll need to grab in order for this to work correctly. I have both of them linked for you in the video description. The first of these is hosted on the Brewology.com website and it's called Webman. Scroll down on the page until you get to the download section, then click the link on the far right side to download the latest version of Webman to your computer. Fozilla is a free download that allows you to connect your computer and your PlayStation 3 together over FTP. Click the green download button and you'll see a chart with three different versions of Fozilla. You want the one on the left, that's the free version. Scroll down to the bottom and click the download button to get the latest version of Fozilla downloaded to your computer. From your Windows desktop, open a new instance of File Explorer for your downloads folder. You'll see the installer for Filezilla and the package file for Webman. Navigate to the Filezilla install file and double click to launch the installer. At the UAC prompt, select yes to continue. This is a completely generic install process except for one thing, so let's slow the roll for just a minute and take a look. Start by clicking I agree in the bottom right corner. This next screen is going to prompt you to select whether you want to install the AVG browser or not. There are two options here, accept or decline. In this case, I'm gonna click the button for decline. Once you have your choice made, come down to the bottom right corner, then click on the next button to continue the install process. That step is important because if you click I accept, the AVG Secure Browser becomes your default browser on your computer. From there, you can simply follow the on-screen install process, but the only other option that you really need to consider is whether or not you want a desktop shortcut for FileZilla on your computer. Once you're done with the FileZilla install process, you'll be asked whether you want to go ahead and launch it right now. You don't. Uncheck the box, then come down to the bottom right corner and click on Finish to complete the installation. You're done with the installer file in your downloads folder. Right click, select Delete, and send it to the recycle bin. And remember, anything that's in your recycle bin is still archived for you in case you need it. Let's get things set up for the next step of the process. Grab the File Explorer window for downloads and drag and drop it over to the left side of the screen to snap it into place. Insert a FAT32 formatted USB drive into your computer. When the File Explorer window for the USB drive appears, grab it and drag and drop it all the way over to the right side of the screen to snap it into place. Now you can simply drag and drop the Webman package file right onto the root of the USB storage. Now that you have the file copied over, go back over to the Downloads folder, right click on the package file, and delete it to send it to the recycle bin. You're done with your computer for the moment. Go ahead and close out any open instances of File Explorer, remove the USB storage device from your computer, and insert it into the rightmost USB port on your PlayStation 3. If you have a PS3 model running PS3 HEN, go ahead and turn on the system and enable HEN. If you're running a system with custom firmware, just power on the system. From the cross-media bar on your PlayStation 3, use the D-pad on the controller to slide over to the Game tab. Scroll down through the list of choices until you see the Package Manager. Select Package Manager with the X button, then scroll down to the listing for Install Package Files and select it with X. Finally, scroll down to Standard, that's your USB storage, and select it with X. You'll see the listing here for your Webman package file that you put on the root of your USB storage. Select it with the X button to install it. I normally speed through these install processes on video, but there's something important I think you should know. If the install process hits the 44 to 45% mark and slows to a crawl, don't worry, this is an expected behavior and everything's fine. Give it just a moment and it will speed right back up and finish the install process in no time at all. See, there it goes. Once the install process is complete, you'll see a confirmation message on screen. Press the circle button to close out the package installer. Okay, this may sound kind of counterintuitive, but here's the deal. You actually installed an installer for Webman and you'll need to run that process to get it working. Scroll down to the listing for Webman on your cross media bar, then press and hold the left one shoulder button on your controller. While still holding the L1 shoulder button, press the X button on your controller to start the install process for Webman. Your PS3 will be restarted. Press the PS button on your controller, and you'll see that there's a notification in the top right corner of your screen that Webman is now active. A quick note here moving forward, if you're running a system on PS3 HEN, you try to launch Webman, and it crashes your system, there's a solution for this, and I have it linked for you in the video description. Alright, now that you've got Webman up and running, let's put it to use. Press and hold the select button on your controller for several seconds. You'll see a pop-up window appear in the center of the screen that gives you some key information. Let's take a closer look at what's here. The piece of information you are most interested in for this video is the IP address of your PlayStation 3 system. 
It's right here in the Webman menu. Be sure to get this information before you go to the next step, and be aware that your IP address will probably be different than the one you see on screen. It's also worth noting here that Webman is already listening for an incoming FTP connection from your computer. Now that you have Webman installed, let's take a look at how to connect your PlayStation 3 and your PC together. Back on your PC, go ahead and launch FileZilla for the first time by double-clicking on the icon. The first time you launch the software, you'll see a What's New window pop up in the center of the screen. Click OK at the bottom right corner to clear the window. By default, FileZilla's free version is only available in light mode, which is fine. But if you want to try it in dark mode, check this out. You can turn on the Windows High Contrast mode by pressing the Shift, Alt, and Print Screen keys on your keyboard. You'll see a pop-up message appear in the top left corner of the screen asking if you want to activate High Contrast mode. Select Yes to continue. And just like that, voila, instant dark mode for FileZilla. Let's get your PS3 and your PC connected inside FileZilla. Navigate up to the top left corner of FileZilla. You'll find an empty box here called Host. Click in it and type in the IP address for your PlayStation 3. Remember, it's probably different than the one you see on screen here. With this information entered in, you can go past the password and port information and click on the Quick Connect button. In the pop-up window that appears, click on the checkbox next to Always Allow. You're connected to your own local network, so you're perfectly safe doing so. Click the OK button to continue. If you're using the regular light mode in FileZilla, you'll see the list of storage devices on your PlayStation 3. However, if you're in dark mode like this by using the Windows High Contrast mode, just restart FileZilla. Reconnect your PS3 and you'll see all of the files and folders listed in the right pane. To save this extra step, just turn on high contrast mode before you launch FileZilla in Windows. The most likely thing you'll want to do is copy content from your computer to your internal hard drive of your PlayStation 3. Find the listing for Dev HDD 0 and double click on it. This will take you to the root level of your internal hard drive on your PS3. Let's test the connection between the PlayStation 3 and the PC to make sure that things can in fact be moved from one to the other. The window pane on the left side of the screen represents the PC and its hard drive storage. I have a folder here and it's called Test ROMs. It's just something I typically use for testing emulation. I'll drag this folder over to the PlayStation 3 hard drive out of the way of the main folders so that it just lands right on the root of the hard drive. The amount of time it takes to copy things from your computer to your PS3 depends largely on the speed of your internet connection and the amount of content that you're copying. Once the transfer process is complete, you'll see a confirmation pop-up window appear in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once you've transferred all of the files that you want to move over to your PlayStation 3, you can close out FileZilla. As a reminder, if you've set Windows into high contrast mode, don't forget to push Shift, Alt, and Print Screen again to set it back into the regular contrast mode for Windows. Also, don't forget to go back to your PlayStation 3 and press and hold the select button on your controller to close out that window for Webman. Don't worry, Webman will still be fully operational and running even with that window in the center of the screen closed. Speaking of emulators for your PS3, this guide shown on screen and linked in the video description and pinned comment will get you set up and running in RetroArch with thousands of games in just a matter of minutes.